Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today we're actually going to be going over what I would want out of an Africa 2 reserve. Now after the last video that I did about the new reserve possibly being a Mexico reserve, I asked in that video if you guys wanted to see me do a video talking about what I would want out of Africa 2. So we're going to be doing that today. Now keep in mind this is all just my opinion on what I would like to see in an African reserve and me personally, I absolutely love all the antelope species so that's what this video is primarily going to be about. But real quickly, if you guys have not seen the last video that I did talking about a potential Mexico reserve, be sure to check that out. I'm going to have it in the card in the top right of the screen. So be sure to go check that out if you haven't already. Also, real quickly, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss a video. Also, comment down below what you think this reserve is going to be and what type of species you would like to see on the map. Now, as of now, there is no confirmation what this next map is going to be, so take all of this with a grain of salt. This is just my opinion and what I would like to see on an Africa 2 reserve. And as I was saying at the beginning of this video, I absolutely love all of the different antelope species, so that is what I would like to see on the brand new map. But first, let's kind of go over what species I think would get reused, because as we know, there's always at least three or four species that get reused on any new map. I think Verhonga was the only exception, really. And I think the ones that I would like to see the most is obviously the Cape Buffalo and Lion, I feel like would have to be there. Those are just two extremely popular species that I feel like are a no-brainer for being reused on the next map. And alongside those, I would also like to see the Gemsbok and probably the Lesser Kudu. And there's a reason for that, and we'll get to it in a second. But let's go over the first species that I'd like to see on the reserve, and that is the Nyala. I will be going over a bunch of information on each of these that I got from the wiki pages, and there's actually some really cool info, so we're going to go through a bunch of that. But for the Nyala, the Lowland Nyala, or simply Nyala, is a spiral horned antelope native to southern Africa. The body length is 135 to 195 centimeters, or 53 to 77 inches. It weighs 55 to 140 kgs or 121 to 309 pounds. The coat is maroon or rufous brown in females and juveniles, but grows a dark brown or slate gray, often tinged with blue in adult males. Females and young males have 10 or more white stripes on their sides. Only males have horns 60 to 83 centimeters or 24 to 33 inches long and yellow tipped. And I will be having images of each of these species popping up in the background over top of the gameplay footage so you guys can get an idea of what these guys look like. And the Nyala is going to be a really cool one if they end up doing it. I feel like there's a pretty high chance that the Nyala could be one of the species that comes to the game because it is just a super cool looking one and it's actually a pretty popular species as far as I know. Next up is the Sable, and I am actually really hoping that this one ends up making it, probably more than some of the others, just because of how awesome they look. The Sable Antelope is an antelope which inhabits wooded savanna in East and Southern Africa, from the south of Kenya to South Africa, with a separate population in Angola. With the male heavier and about one-fifth taller than the female, the head and body length is typically between 190 and 255 centimeters or 75 and 100 inches. Males reach about 117 to 140 centimeters, 46 to 55 inches at the shoulder, while females are slightly shorter. Males typically weigh 235 kilograms or 518 pounds and females 220 kilograms or 490 pounds. The tail is 40 to 75 centimeters or 16 to 30 inches long with a tuft at the end. Sable antelope has a compact and robust build characterized by a thick neck and tough skin. It has a well-developed and often upright mane on its neck, as well as a short mane on the throat. Its general colorization is rich chestnut to black. Females and juveniles are chestnut to dark brown, while males begin darkening and turn black after three years. The underparts, cheek and chin are all white, creating a great contrast with the dark back and flanks. Long white hairs are present below the eyes and a wide black stripe runs over the nose. Both sexes have ringed horns which arch backwards. In females, these can reach 61 to 102 centimeters or 24 to 40 inches, while in males, they are 81 to 165 centimeters or 32 to 65 inches long, which is absolutely huge. The average lifespan of the sable antelope is 19 years in the wild, so these would be really, really cool to see on a second African reserve. And another thing to take into account when it comes to new reserves in Call of the Wild, 
is you always have to remember that they don't necessarily take animals from the exact same area so for example some of these species might not live together in real life but most likely in Call of the Wild they wouldn't really pay too much attention to that because well at the end of the day it's a game so that's another thing to keep in mind the third species we have here that I would really love to see on an Africa 2 reserve is the Impala the Impala is a medium-sized antelope found in eastern and southern Africa. The Impala reaches 70 to 92 centimeters or 28 to 36 inches at the shoulder and weighs 40 to 76 kgs or 88 to 168 pounds. It features a glossy reddish brown coat. The male's slender lyre shaped horns are 45 to 92 centimeters or 18 to 36 centimeters long. Active mainly during the day, the Impala may be gregarious or territorial depending on the climate and geography. Three distinct social groups can be observed. The territorial males, the bachelor herds, and female herds. So I would imagine if these get put into Call of the Wild, we'd probably have multiple herd types just like this. Just like they are in real life. I think that would be pretty cool. The Impala is known for two characteristic leaps that constitute an anti-predator strategy. Browsers as well as grazers, impala feed on monocots, dicots, forbs, fruits, and acacia pods whenever available. The impala is found in woodlands and sometimes on the interface between woodlands and savannas. The impala is one of those species where even before I was into hunting games or hunting at all, it was one that I had heard about quite a bit because it is a relatively popular African species and they look really, really cool, so I'd love to see them be on an Africa 2 reserve. This next one is one that a lot of you really want to see on Africa 2 and I would really like to see them too. That is the Greater Kudu. The Greater Kudu is a woodland antelope found throughout southern and eastern Africa. Despite occupying such widespread territory, they are sparsely populated in most areas due to declining habitat, deforestation, and poaching. The Greater Kudu is one of two species commonly known as Kudu, the other being the Lesser Kudu, which that's the one that we currently have in Call of the Wild. Greater Kudus have a narrow body with long legs and their coats can range from brown, bluish gray to reddish brown. They possess between 4 and 12 vertical white stripes along their torso. The head tends to be darker in color than the rest of the body and exhibits a small white chevron which runs between the eyes. Greater kudu bulls tend to be much larger than the cows and vocalize much more, utilizing low grunts, clucks, humming, and gasping. The bulls also have beards running along their throats and large horns with two and a half twists, which, were they to be straightened, would reach an average length of 120 centimeters or 47 inches, with the record being 187 centimeters or 73 inches. This is one of the largest species of antelope. Bulls weigh 190 to 270 kgs or 420 to 600 pounds with a maximum of 315 kgs or 694 pounds and stand up to 160 centimeters or 63 inches tall at the shoulder. The ears of the greater kudu are large and round. Cows weigh 120 to 210 kgs or 260 to 460 pounds and stand as little as 100 centimeters or 39 inches tall at the shoulder. They are hornless without a beard or nose markings. The head and body length is 185 to 245 centimeters or 6 to 8 feet long. Honestly, I think if this next reserve ends up being Africa 2, this is a 100% guarantee for a species for that map. With the amount of people that have requested it and just how popular and famous it is, I would be very surprised if we don't get a greater kudu on the next African map if they end up doing Africa 2 as the next map. I just don't see any way that it couldn't be there. This next one that we have here is another one that a lot of people will probably have heard of at least once in their life. And there are really awesome looking species and probably one of the more famous ones in Africa also. Uh, I know a lot of these are some of the more popular species and then I've thrown in a couple that aren't necessarily, but this next one is the eland. The common eland, also known as the southern eland or eland antelope, is a savanna and plains antelope found in east and southern Africa. An adult male is around 1.6 meters or 5 feet tall at the shoulder. Females are 20 centimeters or 8 inches shorter and can weigh up to 942 kgs or 2,077 pounds with an average of 500 to 600 kgs, which is 1,100 to 1,300 pounds. 
340 to 445 kgs or 750 to 981 pounds for the females. It is the second largest antelope in the world, mainly an herbivore. Its diet is primarily grasses and leaves. Common elands form herds of up to 500 animals, but are not territorial. The common eland prefers habitats with a wide variety of flowering plants, such as savanna, woodlands, and open and montane grasslands. It avoids dense forest, it uses loud barks, visual and postural movements, and the Fleming responds to communicate and warn others of danger. So I don't know about you guys, but I think the eland would be such an awesome species to have in Call of the Wild. They just look absolutely amazing, and the fact that they can weigh up to 2,000 pounds is just insane to me. It would be so cool to see these guys in game. They would be one of the heaviest animals in the game. Actually, they might... Yeah, they might actually be the heaviest, because I think that's heavier than the bison. I could be wrong, though. Actually, now that I think of it, I think the bison go up to, like, 11 or 1,200 kgs. Yeah, I think it's 1,200 kgs, so they might not be as heavy, but very close now the last species that we have on here is one that i have actually known about for quite a while back when i was a kid probably like six or seven i was obsessed with gazelle for some reason i don't know what it was but i just absolutely loved the way they look and i just wanted to know as much about them as i could and i would absolutely love to have a species of gazelle in game and the one that i think they should put in is the thompson's gazelle the thompson's gazelle is one of the best known gazelles it is named after explorer joseph thomas and is sometimes referred to as a tommy thompson's gazelles can be found in numbers exceeding 200,000 in africa and are recognized as the most common type of gazelle in east africa the thompson's gazelle can reach speeds of 80 to 90 kilometers an hour or 50 to 55 miles per hour it is the fourth fastest land animal after the cheetah, its main predator, pronghorn, and springbok. So these guys would be absolutely insane to have in game. I would absolutely love to be chasing down a Thompson's gazelle. I think it would be so much fun. Thompson's gazelle is a relatively small gazelle. It stands 60 to 70 centimeters, 24 to 28 inches at the shoulder. Males weigh 20 to 35 kgs or 44 to 77 pounds, while the slightly lighter females weigh 15 to 25 kgs or 35 to 55 pounds. Facial characteristics of the gazelle include white rings around the eyes, black stripes running from a corner of the eye to the nose, rufous stripes running from the horns to the nose, a dark patch on the nose, and a light forehead. The coat is a sandy brown to rufous. A distinctive black band runs across the flanks from the upper foreleg to just above the upper hind leg. A buff band can be seen just above the black stripe. Short black streaks mark the white rump. The black tail measures 15 to 27 centimeters, or 5.9 to 10.6 inches. Males have well-developed uh, preorbital glands near the eyes, which are used for scent-marking territories. Both sexes possesses horns that curve slightly backwards, with the tips facing forward. The horns, highly ringed, measure 25 to 43 centimeters, or 9.8 to 16.9 inches, on males, and 7 to 15 centimeters, or 2.8 to 5.9 inches, on the females. However, females have highly fragile horns, some are even hornless. So out of all the species, I think this would be one of the ones I would be most excited for. This, along with the eland and the greater kudu, would most likely be the ones that I would hunt the most. However, I would love to see all of these. They're just such awesome species. Now, I know a lot of you guys probably aren't necessarily going to think this is the best list, but this is what I would like to see. I really want to have a ton of different antelope species on an Africa 2 map. I know a lot of people would probably be like, oh, well, what about the... the elephants and rhinos and stuff like that i mean that would be awesome but i doubt call of the wild would put something like that in expansive worlds tends to try to make sure they stay out of all potential controversy and as you guys know elephants are kind of controversial in some places so that's something that they tend to stick away from i don't really think that they need to i mean it's just a game at the end of the day but if that's the choice they want to make then so be it i guess there's plenty of other animals that could be on a map like the waterbuck uh black wildebeest the common diker the uh bush pig the steenbok mountain reedbuck the clip springer scimitar oryx uh plain zebra oh 
I actually can't believe I forgot that. I almost forgot. Another one of the species that I would really love to see is the zebra. I just remember that as I'm recording this. So uh, let's uh, real quickly go over a little bit of information about the plain zebra because that actually is another one that I'd really like to see. But I completely forgot about it when I was doing research for this. The plain zebra, also known as the common zebra, is the most common and geographically widespread species of zebra. Its range is fragmented, but spans much of southern and eastern Africa, south of the Sahara. Six or seven subspecies have been recognized. However, more recent research supports variations of zebra populations being in clines rather than subspecies. The plain zebra is intermediate in size between the larger grebe zebra and the smaller mountain zebra, and tends to have broader stripes than both. Great variation in coat patterns exists between clines and individuals. The plains zebra's habitat is generally but not exclusively treeless grassland and savanna woodlands, both tropical and temperate. They generally avoid desert, dense rainforest, and permanent wetlands. The plains zebra is a highly social species forming harems with a single stallion, several mares, and their recent offspring. Bachelor groups also form. Groups may come together to form herds, the animals keep watch for predators, they bark or snort when they see a predator, and the harem stallion attacks predators to defend his harem. Hopefully I'm pronouncing all of this correctly, but hard to say. The plain zebra stands at a height of 127 to 140 centimeters, or 4.17 to 4.59 feet, with a head body length of 217 to 246 centimeters, or 7.12 to 8.07 feet, and a tail length of 47 to 56.5 centimeters, or 1.54 to 1.85 feet. Males weigh 220 to 320 kgs, or 485 to 710 pounds, while females weigh 175 to 250 kgs, or 386 to 551 pounds. It is dumpy bodied with relatively short legs and a skull with a convex forehead and a somewhat concave nose profile. The neck is thicker in males than in females. The ears are upright and have rounded tips. They are shorter than the mountain zebra and narrower than a grevy zebra. As with all wild equids, the plain zebra has an erect mane along the neck and a tuft hair at the end of the tail. So you guys have heard me talk quite a bit about the zebras ever since there was talk of a second African reserve, which at this point it's been about a year, I'd say, that people have been wanting Africa 2 to come out. And I've always said that I really want to see zebras there. I think that would be an amazing addition to the map. There's just something about them. A lot of people don't understand why you would want to hunt a zebra because it's essentially like a horse of sorts, but there's just something about them. The beauty of their stripes and I just think it'd be so cool to have them. And as far as I understand, their um, hide is actually pretty valuable in a lot of places and from what I'm reading right now, it looks like their meat is valued also. But I think that's going to be it for the list right here. I still can't believe that I forgot the zebra until I actually was going through everything because that's something that I had wanted more than a lot of other things. So that's just crazy to me. <laughs> crazy to me that I actually forgot that. But anyway, let me know what you guys would like to see on the next reserve down below in the comments. And if you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button and ring that notification bell. I post videos almost every single day and stream almost every single day. So if you guys are new to the channel and you want more content, there's plenty of it to come. And the second we know more about what this next reserve is going to be, I will be sure to give you guys the information as fast as I can. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!